Okay, hi. Hi. This is, uh, just so you can see, system report. Look at the USB dock. You can see it's a Tech A hub. Camlink 4K is plugged into it. You can see it's the Thunderbolt 4 dock. It's a Techie Thunderbolt 4 dock and 100 USB devices connected to it. You can see the Camlink 4K is there. This is the software camera hub, and you can see it flashes green, it is jittery, it jumps around. It is not uh, why I would use this card or use this dock. Um, this is not good. Uh, I can change the, the mode here by going in and changing it from isochronous to bulk. It reconnects my camera. And now you can see, I may not get the flashing, but after a period of time, it will just freeze. And I'm just kind of waiting for it to freeze on you so you can experience it for yourself. Um, otherwise, it looks great, it looks fine. This is how I'd not how I'd like to have it happen. Um, it's not usable for, for my purposes of, of work. Um, if I try to go and switch this to automatic mode, I believe this just leaves it on isochronous um, or tries to make a determination of which one it should use. Um, now it's not connecting. So I'll unplug it from the dock and plug it back in. Yeah, it's not even uh, recognizing my device now. So if I go to system report, USB devices, it says Camlink 4K. Maybe I uh, uh, reboot the camera hub here. Okay. So now you can see it's an automatic. And this will behave much like Isochronos, where it'll be fine for a time, and then um, it will start flashing or have a, an issue, or maybe, yep, there it goes. Um, yep, and you can see Camlink connect to 3.0, uh, 3 USB 3.0. Um, Current required 800 milliamps, current available 900 milliamps, so it's not either asking for more voltage or providing less voltage or whatever, it's just it's just not doing it. Um, yeah, and um, if I unplug this and plug it directly into my MacBook, close this down so you can see about this Mac system report USB you can see now it's on the USB 3.1 cam link 4k same 5 gigabits per second it's not like it's using more using 3.1 or whatever same power requirements you can see that this is uh, kind of going off Without a vent, it works fine. Plug directly in, it does not work fine. Plug directly into the Seiteki Thunderbolt 4 dock. I think something else to note too, which is kind of weird, maybe you can shed some light on this, is if I look at my display settings, I have two identif identical displays, FI27QP, FI27QP. If I go into display settings, one will allow me to go to 165 hertz, and the other one only allows me to go to 120 and doesn't allow me to use HDR. Super weird, I don't know why, and sometimes depending upon what, how it plugged in or synced up, that one will be 165 hertz, that will be 120, or that will be 120, and that will be 165. It doesn't matter on the, the cables, the cables are the same, it's just for some reason, I don't know. 
But as you can see, I've been recording for a while now and there hasn't been any issues with flashes or green or um, camera freezing. So uh, I, I, I don't know what to say. Hope this proves it.